Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrap Craftastic, and since I've been doing From Scratch Plan With Me's, I've received several requests asking me to do a monthly From Scratch Plan With Me. I've kind of steered clear from that because doing a monthly spread is complicated and it can require quite a bit of measuring, but I think I've come up with a way to do it using folding as a template or a guide to create your boxes. It's still going to require a little use of a ruler. You can use washi tape but again it's a big grid so that means a lot of washi tape and depending on the washi tape you use it could take up some of the space you might need for your monthly plans. But I'm going to do it with probably the least monthly friendly style of planner that, that there is because it's so narrow it kind of complicates things but this is what I'm working in so this is the one I'm going to work with so I'm going to take out one piece of the grid paper that I have printed myself to begin with I'm going to fold just this one block on the grid if you're using dot grid then one space on the dot grid just going to fold it over one space on the edge this is going to give us our margin for the outside edge and I'm just trying to fold that as straight as possible using the grid as my guide then I'm going to take this and fold it over to the edge of the punches so right to the edge that gives us a little margin if you want to put washi tape down your center you might want to allow yourself a little more space on the center but I'm going to just go right outside of those punches okay so that gives us two columns here this column this column so now I'm going to take this piece and fold it over one more time and I'm really giving going hard on the creases you can use the edge of a ruler to really burnish that fold so you can see that fold okay so we know that there's a line right here where the punches are so that's column one column two column three column four and our margin area or border so each one of these columns is going to be out a day you know a day in the month so the month a monthly layout usually consists of eight columns so we have four on this page and if we flip it over and use it on the other side we'll have four on the other side as well so we got our columns taken care of now we need to do our rows so we're going to do the same thing and fold off our margins so if you want a margin at the top and the bottom fold those off so I'm going to go to the bottom and go ahead and fold off three blocks give myself a good margin at the bottom at the top I'm going to go down three blocks five blocks to give myself room to put my days of the week so three blocks if I want to decorate I'm, I'm probably doing an excess here let's see let's get a piece of a roll of washi and just test it out even though all washi is different widths let's just use this one as an example so I think giving myself three rows for the washi and two rows for the day of the week is plenty of room so like I said five rows so I'm gonna go down five rows and fold and you can count this on the front of the back it's probably easier to count it from here so that's five that's plenty of room up at the top plus it'll give us room for any other decorations we want up there okay so technically this is the amount of space that we have to make our rows with what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold these back out of the way. So this is our space for our rows. Okay, so now I'm going to take this up and fold it in half. So 
So generally I allow six rows for a monthly calendar. You could do five, but you'll run into some complications eventually doing it that way. Okay, so, so far we have two rows. We need six. Well, I could just leave these. I'm going to open those up to get them out of the way. So what I'm going to do, this is more complicated. You can actually count the blocks if you want to at this point, or you can just kind of guesstimate it with the folding. But what you need to do is this part, this portion here, let me get this out of the way again so you can see. So we're going to divide this portion after we folded it in half into three. So like I said, you can count them or you can kind of do what's a, a brochure type fold. And I'm not going to count. I'm going to do a brochure type fold because I'm pretty sure I have it straight. So what I did, I folded it in thirds. So I folded this one up one third of the way. Then I folded this over the rest of the way. So that's going to give us our six rows because we folded the two into three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So here we go. Let's look at it all together. So we've got room up here for our washi, our days of the week, any kind of header that we want to put on. Then we got week one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got room for our footer. We've got our columns. So depending on what page this is templated for. So we got our four columns as well. Generally on a monthly there is a column for notes or decor or whatever you want to do with it. That blank column can be on the left. It can be on the right. I generally leave it on the left. So if I'm using this as my template and I'm going by the columns here, I would have my blank column here. I don't know if you can see the folds. Then I would have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I make my template on the other page. I would have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you do it Sunday through Monday, this gives you that, all those options to do it any way you want. What I would suggest, and I mentioned this the last time I did one of these folded templates, is to go in with a pen or a marker and a ruler and mark where you made these folds at. Let's just do it with this. Let's see. I really need a scrap piece of paper because I don't want to mark up my background any worse than it already is. But what I would suggest is either take and draw a line on each fold that you've made or like so or just do a little tick mark where you've made the fold. That way, when you put it on your paper that you're getting ready to draw or tape off your grid with, you can easily see it. So I'm going to go ahead and, I think I'm going to use a different pen, but I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines in and hopefully I can keep up with this and use it on a regular basis. So I'm looking for where I fold it. I fold it on that line. And once you do this one time, you can use this template over and over and over again. So I draw a line there. Oops. And if you fold it straight, then you don't even have to worry about lining up your ruler. Um, you can just draw your lines. Okay. Now remember when we folded this one over, let me do this one, our border or margin. Okay, so now you can see the columns better. 
and I did all of that without measuring just using folds and folding carefully so now I'm gonna fold this over and use this edge as a guide to show me where my uh, line needs to be by the punches so and I'm not on, on the paper but I think I'll be okay okay so I'm gonna draw right down that edge so now I have a line to show me every place now I'm gonna go back in and do my rows so I'm gonna flip it upside down here and start on this end And if it goes across the punch, if you if it's paper that you've already punched, just draw it across the punch because you do need it to go to the edge so that you can um, so that you can see it when you're marking your paper. So. If you don't feel confident doing this with a pen, you could use a pencil. And if you make any mistakes, you could just erase. And even if you make mistakes, it doesn't really matter because it's a template. That's our first side. Now I want to go ahead and mark off at the t at the top where. I wanted my days of the week to be so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line there as well remember I saved five blocks at the top five uh, three were for decoration washi tape headers whatever I needed and then two of those blocks were for the days of the week so I'm going to go ahead and draw a line for those Just make sure the road ruler is on top the way it needs to be. Okay. Alrighty. So, and if you need to mark or write yourself a note, go right ahead. Now let's see if I can do this other side because remember, this is this side, the right side. So I'll need to flip this over to do the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all the lines on the left side. And here I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just going to fold this over to help use that because we didn't fold along the inside margin. So I'm just going to fold that over and help let that be my guide as to where to put my ruler and draw the and draw the line. So we have our inside margin. Now we didn't leave a lot of room for the inside margin, but again, this is going to be so small. I don't know if you want to, if you want, the boxes are already so narrow that it's going to make them even more narrow if you allow more space next to your punches. So that is why I'm so close to the punches. I'm trying to give as much room as possible. If you need, or if you want, more room then when you do after you do this outside margin and you fold it over if that's too close for you just don't fold it over that far give yourself a little more room so that when you make your second fold it's going to make your boxes smaller but you will have room on this margin for washi tape or whatever you want to put there or a little more room than you would have had okay 
enough of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw my uh, lines for the rows. This is my header, so I'm giving the allowance for the three, which I can kind of see the line from the other side of the paper. So, and then uh, this ink on this ruler. The ink is getting on the ruler. This is a Pentel 07, and the ink is really bold and really pouring out of here. Alrighty, so we have our template. It's all set and ready to go. So this gives you a fairly accurate grid. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but this is a good starting place for making your monthly spread. And so this part here is going to be your main calendar. And you can just kind of place this wherever you want it um, on your page or I like to do it like this and just line it up at the bottom let's go ahead and do it I'm gonna mark it off with pencil let's do it while my hands are not cramping real quick so I'm just gonna take out two sheets of my grid paper I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to line it up and just leave a little gap at the top so that I can see so that I can mark it have room to mark okay so I'm gonna come over a little bit because I think I made this box a little too big that's my error but then the rest of them I'm just gonna mark with pencil tick then I'm just going to slide this up and do the same thing so we've done the column tick marks now I'm just going to do the row tick marks So I'm going to write this on here, top, bottom. Now I can go ahead and draw my lines. Lightly, I suggest drawing them very lightly, making sure that you have everything straight. And I suggest doing it in pencil because you may find that some lines you don't want drawn. For example, I may not want my line to go all the way to the bottom. I'm, oh, I hate this eraser. <laughs> this eraser is a problem. I, I probably want my, my border lines to stop before they get to the space that I allotted at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those lines in first, the top and the bottom lines. So I know I need to stop there and I'm going to go all the way to the five line and stop there. So I'm going to stay in the border. I'm going to draw my inside border line. See, this is again, this is why I said I kind of steered clear of it because it can get complicated. It really can. <laughs> It's just a big grid, but oh, I didn't draw my um, tick marks on the inside, so I need to do that. You could also use washi tape to go ahead and block this off without even drawing in the pencil lines. Um, see, I didn't want to go out. <laughs> I need an eraser. Um, I didn't 
want to go in the margin, but I did, but I'll have to get my kneaded eraser and erase that later. But the good thing about doing this this way is that it will work with any size um, paper because the grid is going to always be the same. So no matter what size insert you're using, it's going to always be the same once you make that template. I've made a, quite a few mistakes here that I need to go back and erase. But for now, I'm going to leave them and we're going to move on to the washi tape. So I have this thin washi. I'm just going to choose one. Let's see what we got going on here. I think I'm going to go with this one because it's dark and it should show up really well for you to be able to see what I'm doing. I could do that one. Let, let's do this one. So I'm going to mark off my edges first. I don't want to pull the washi too tight because it's going to cause my paper to curl. And what I'm doing, I'm putting the washi like right on the center of the pencil line. Pulling it taut but not tight. It may still curl, but not too much I can do about that. If you're using a wider uh, piece of paper, a wider insert size, then you could use wider washi too. So there is the first side of my month. I would go in and erase the little tick marks and any lines where I overdrew. And that's ready to go. I repeat the same process for the other page. So I'm going to mark this as left. Let's see, I'll just put it in the middle. And then this side will be right top, bottom. Okay, so let's mark this off and get this show on the road. Had a little snafu with some ink and <laughs> used the white out, but for the most part, this came out quite nice. Um, I can just now go in. I think I left a little too much space on the top block. I think I'm going to move that piece of washi down. Other than that, it looks quite nice. Let's move this, adjust this washi. I didn't go outside the mark. 
on the other one I went inside so let's go inside on this side too but what I did do that I shouldn't have done which hopefully you'll remember not to do this is I went over my notes column so I'm just gonna come in and trim off this washi you can use your this column over here or this column for notes I'm gonna use the left column the lights just flashed off I don't know what's going on could be overuse of power in the area so yeah that was a mistake but we're gonna easily fix that okay so that was an easy easy to fix error so now we have room for notes and if you choose not to block this off you could just not block this area off at all and it's probably a good idea on your template to mark which column you want to use for notes if you're going to use it the notes column on the left or on the right so then you just label your days of the week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday just add your numbers and be ready to go so i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and do august okay so i'm going to use the dates and holidays sticker book from me and my big ideas the happy planner and date this calendar why am i flipping through this like i don't know what's in here um, <laughs> Uh, I could use one of these small stickers. Okay. So let's get to this. So we got our dates down. This is one of those instances where I didn't really need to do this box at the bottom. Now I could come back in and remove the washi down here. I think I might. No. I don't know. I might remove it later. And just do some decoration down there. But most, a lot of the time you do need all six rows. This just happened to be a month where we didn't need it. And let's see what I can do for the days of the week. I don't really know how I want to decorate this. I had misplaced this book. It was in another notebook for the longest time. So maybe I can use something out of here too. I've been looking for it and looking for it and looking for it. I think these stickers may be a little too big for this. Could use this first day of school sticker here even though it's way too big but I think I will so I'm gonna leave that out and let's worry about getting the weekdays put on here I have this washi here that will be perfect I'm going to take this kneaded eraser and get rid of the lines that I don't need that I drew and lighten up some of these tick marks that are really dark just to clean up my edges a little bit. So now we're just ready to decorate. Um, I'm going to use one of these August stickers. 
on here. Just need to decide where I want to put it. I don't have 2019, unfortunately. This is an old sticker book. I should probably repurchase this, huh? Um, let's, I hate to use a set that hasn't been used. Let's see what I have in here that has not been used. Mm. Let's go for it. Mm. So that's where we are so far. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and decorate. We have the first day of school on August 12th. I don't even go to school and I'm sad about that. I'm not ready for them to go back to school. But I'm going to put down the sticker. I don't really like the way that looks, but that's the best I can do. Um, and then we have a birthday on the first. Uh, we do need to do a haircut. So I don't want to wait until too close to the first day of school. So probably next weekend sometime. I'll see to him getting a haircut. So I'm going to put it on Sunday. Now let's do it for Monday. Nope, let's do it Tuesday. Let's get that haircut and let's put a little birthday cake. first even though I'm going to put something else there as well and then I want to mark a payday a special payday um, I'm really not liking the way this is looking is it something I can put under that to make it look better something else so I have my last treatment on the 21st so mark that And I wish I printed her a little smaller because I want to use her on here. I think I am going to go ahead and remove the washi down here if I can. Okay, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to stick this <laughs> on a sticker page. Here, I can stick this right on here. Boom. To be used at a later time. And let me get the 12 off of there. Because that's just that was just bothering me. That was not going to work. And... I can use this little sheet from Simply Me Kish and mark the first day of school. And I'm going to do it like this to help hold the 12 down since I've removed it more than one time. I'm going to use Buy Supplies because we have Tax Free Weekend coming up. Let's 
see if there's anything else on there that I can use. Nope, that's it. So I'll just have to remember to use that throughout the school year. Okay, I haven't used this one yet, so maybe it's time to bust out botanicals. So here's the final spread. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and plan with me. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.